everyone, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colouring Kid. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you a tour of my colouring area slash craft area because I do some crafts and things as well. Um, and I was very um, kindly tagged by Livella from Livella's Colouring and also Kay from Colouring with Kay to do this tag. I believe it was initially created by Lucy from Lucy Just Adds Colour and I thought that it was a great idea and I think that it's really interesting to um, see what um, people's areas look like and where they colour because obviously in videos of people who do YouTube we see the coloured pictures, we see the halls but we don't often see what, uh, what goes on behind all that so I'm really excited to do this so I'm sorry if it's a slightly bit um, dim it's still early-ish in the afternoon and um, it's raining outside but I hope it's okay um, but first I'm going to kind of just give you an initial uh, look of um, the room and then I will go into more detail about um, certain areas obviously there will be some bits that aren't colouring related so I won't um, really show you those because there's no there's no point but um yeah so this is this is the room so we call this our den so um it's for me and Tom and we don't have desks as such in our actual bedrooms so this is our space to do all our homework all of our fun stuff um if you will so this was initially the um, dining room in our house, but we actually have our big table in the kitchen, so we weren't using that space um, for its purpose, so we decided to do this. So around about this time last year, I think, we had these shelves put on our, um, our walls, and Tom's got some here as well. So this is his area, um, and then this is my area over here. So... Um, we have my desk here, which has, uh, which is quite messy at the moment because I'm about to pack to go to my grandparents. So I've got some pencils and things out that I need to either put away or put in pencil cases to pack. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, on the shelves, I kind of have pots of pens and pencils and things that don't really have a place in my um, pencil cases, but that are handy to always have out. So I will go into more detail about those. And then... I have this um, cupboard, sorry the light's kind of reflecting on it, um, so in here, oh sorry for the noise, I have some craft things up here, uh, mostly to do with my stationery shop and the stationery that I'm creating, also some other colouring things up there that I don't use as much, um, notebooks and things down here which I should really get rid of um, some of them but um, I'm going to have a big sort at some, three, at some point. Um, most of my colouring books are down here along with some school books that I need and um, most of my pencil cases are down on this and then school stuff is all at the bottom so we've got a few kind of sewing bits but most of this is folders and stuff and I've accumulated quite a lot because of lockdown so I had to buy some folders to um, put paper and things in from all of my lessons so uh, I also have this down here, which isn't a colouring cart like the ones that I've seen people get from Ikea. Um, it's slightly different. I believe it's still from Ikea, but um, unfortunately these drawers are kind of temperamental. So they do tend to fall. And um, I do have colouring stuff in them. I kind of have the pencil cases and stuff that I need to gravitate to using quite a lot. But it's not a colouring cart that I can wheel away as easily as um, yours. So... At some point, maybe when I'm at university or something, or when I've got my own place, I will definitely be getting one of those because they look absolutely amazing. And I think they're pretty good value as well, but um, they are so great and I would love to get one at some point. So this one does have wheels, but it's not as portable, so I can't wheel it into another room. So um, I tend to colour here, and sometimes when we're watching TV, I might um, do some colouring, but generally, obviously, because it's multitasking, I don't get as much done. Um, but yeah, I am just going to show you probably um, a bit more in depth of the shelves first. Okay, so I'm now standing on my chair to get a better view for all of you. So um, I have two shelves here which are um, on differing levels. Um, this one I tend to have more of the things that I don't need as much, but are still really handy to have. So here I have some um, Caran d'Ache Neo Colour 2, so these are the water soluble ones, and also some uh, waxes for sealing. I was um, given them by my um, aunt and uncle one um, Christmas, I believe, and I was practising with them 
the other day and I had used them quite a lot in the past but I had some of it left so um, I really really want to be able to uh, master it but I haven't yet as such. Um, I've got some spare Prismacolors here so I initially got a 72 set and then I got the 132 set uh, later on so they're kind of all the spare ones from that. I have a pot for water and a pot here with all of my tiny pencils in which I'm very proud of so I, I've kept those there. These are some Jekyll pencils, um, they're from France but you can also get them here and they're really good to just have when people come over um, because I don't mind people using them and they're also really great pencils. Um, and here I made this um, pencil pot which holds pencils, it is very battered and broken so at some point I might make another one but I kind of just have mixed um, pencils in here. I've got some Faber-Castell Classics um, which are the budget pencils by Faber-Castell. I have some Norris colour pencils which are Staedtler and I believe it's a 24 set although I think I've lost a couple over the years. Uh, then I have my super colours, so I've got the 40 set plus some open stock, so I believe I have about 45. So I've got the 40 set and I've kind of kept all of the pastel ones in this section and then the rest of the colours in this one. And then in here I've got some of the Guang Hoi pencils or the Hero pencils um, that I use quite a lot and I need to keep because um, for some pictures of... I've been the butterfly, I want to replicate them exactly and for that I need some of the, the colours from that set and then yeah just a couple more of the um, open stock super colours there. So then um, I've got this pot here which has some um, cotton wool balls and cotton buds for my pastels, I got that from Tiger I think and here I have some rubbers and some sponges for when I'm doing backgrounds and things. Um, some pencil sharpeners, this is kind of a mix match um, of things, I do need to go through it at some point. Um, now down here I have um, a mix match of a lot of things. Now this is a really lovely basket that I got um, from my uh, parents one Christmas and it's got everything that I could possibly need in terms of tools and things like that so I have my craft knife which I use so much it's amazing I've got binder clips uh, double-sided tape sticky dots scotch tape my amazing um, circle stencil if I can get it out this one which I absolutely love uh, ribbon um, staples paper clips all of that good stuff so I've got everything in there and when I need to pull it out I just pull it out um, here I have my most used brushes and my um, uni pin fine liners and I think I've got a couple of uni pin. I've got one micron pen and a couple of these Staedtler ones, Staedtler, Staedtler pigment liners. I don't have all of them but I got the ones that Joanna Bassford uses the most. Um, which I think was 0.2 and 0.1 she said she used quite a lot so I got those ones and these brushes I absolutely love them I got I think a five set to begin with for my birthday or Christmas for my parents and um, then I got a few open stock ones and this is definitely one of my favourites that I got open stock so most of these are the um, the pro art uh, brushes so the small ones that I have here are master stroke ones um, actually they're all master stroke and then I've got some because they're in the cream colour on the barrel and then these ones are the Pro Art Scholars so I think maybe the master stroke ones were more expensive but they are absolutely amazing really really like those um, here I've got a uh, tin that had tomatoes in I think um, this has got all my fine liners in which I have shown in a video where I show how I use fine liners in my colouring books I also have a mild liner here and some Tombow markers, um, so that's very handy to have. And I have all of my pastel um, Staedtler fine liners in a pencil case at the moment because I'm going to take those um, away with me. In these two pots, nothing really exciting. I've just got pens um, and things like that. The only interesting things, I guess, are um, another craft knife. I've got this cutter, which is actually quite useless. Uh, I thought it was going to be better, but this is, um, again, another cutter. But 
it is more flexible because I can do wavy lines and things, but um, yeah, it's kind of like a mini pizza cutter. I've got this, which is meant to be a colour shaper, I think. I can't remember for what medium you use it for, but sometimes what I like to do is get my inks, uh, things like that, and just put dots on, um, like dip it in and then use it. It's really good. And then I have these Koinor colouring brush pens, which are blending pens, but they're um, water-based, not alcohol-based. So it kind of weren't what I was expecting, but I'm hoping to try and figure out how to do it. got some blending stumps and also my quickie glue pens, which I use so much now. And here I've got some other paint brushes that I don't use as much, uh, some other pens and things, some pipettes for my inks. Um, and in here I've got some pens and my Crayola metallic markers. So, yeah. And then down here I have my Zest It Blend, which I was talking about in a video that I was showing with my Worlds Within Worlds page. Um, this is a coloured pencil blending medium. So you used to blend colour pencils, wax pencils and oil pencils and it's absolutely amazing. It's made in the UK. I got it at my local art shop. Really good. The Dovecraft uh, 3D Pearl Effects, which I got, um, what's it called? Oh, at Poundland because I wanted to try it out. It's basically like a glaze pen, but a bit more 3D, and it's like the 3D. Oh, I can't remember what it's called now. There's something else that lots of people have that is similar to this. Got some glue, my pearlescent liquid acrylic, my white ink, and my gold ink as well. So that's pretty much the shelves. So I'm now going to give you a bit of more in-depth look of my desk. Okay, so my desk um, is a great, great size and I have this paper on it um, to stop it getting mucky but also I was having requests to put a different colour down so that when I was showing pictures the white against white, um, you know, you couldn't really see properly. So I put this paper down which is just wrapping paper and um, it's just a brown kind of craft paper type colour and I really really like having it actually because it means that the underneath of my desk doesn't get mucky and I've only had to change it once and I actually only changed this the other day and last time I did it I got lots of wrinkles in it um, and it wasn't flat but this is flat which is great um, and then I have my typewriter over here which does have some paper on it at the moment because I need to sort that out some of it's for my art project and some of it's for other stuff um, here I've got my light which is amazing and my grandparents didn't need it anymore so they gave it to me uh, my computer and some pencil cases that I am taking away with me so mostly they've just got tools and things like these which I need to add um, but there's not really anything um, too exciting on my desk at the moment but um, these I need to put away because I wasn't taking well, I was taking the case that had my Holbein pencils in but I wasn't taking the fluorescence or the metallics so I took them out and then I was also using the same case to put my pencils in that I was using for my Joker project so I need to put all of these away but I need to do a pencil palette uh, kind of a colour palette for my piece tomorrow so I need to keep them out for that and then put them away um, so here I have this, which I got from Tiger, um, not Tiger, sorry, um, TK Maxx, and it's basically a pencil holder, it's looking pretty bare at the moment as you can see because I've got a lot of stuff that I'm taking away, but I just keep um, various blenders in here, gel pens, um, blending stumps, pencil sharpeners, things like that, I have my, um, oh my gosh, my swatch chart, um, which I've done, which has my whole binds and my prism colours, and my notes, which I use to make to-do lists when I need them. And then we also have my clock, which isn't working, but I made it in DT, and I was proud of it, so I kept it. Um, now this, um, I made at a paint, it's one of those um, painting shops, and then they fire it for you. Um, but I've got pencils that are for different projects and they're such a mess at the moment because I've got so many whips going on. Um, and then, yeah, various pencils again that I need to put away. I always keep a pot. This is one of the goo pots of the cheesecakes that I have, um, as I said, I keep them for water and for my shavings. Um, some Faber-Castell 
kneaded erasers, my Tegal sharpener. I have two of them, the blue ones over here. And then, yeah, this is the page I finished yesterday, the butterfly for my Vini butterfly. So generally I will colour here. I'll just move that. Um, and I'm still working on the Wonderland page. I haven't come back to it yet. And then this is kind of a pile of books that I need to decide which books I'm going to take with me um, on holiday. I'm thinking, because we're only going away for a week, there's no point in taking loads. So I'm thinking of just taking Ivy and the Inky Butterfly, my old copy, so I can refer to it. And probably Fairy Celebrations, because I do have a whip in it at the moment. And I do need to get that finished. Um, but yeah, I'm probably not going to take too much, because we are only going for a week. But yeah, that's pretty much... The overview of my desk and then here with the, the drawers um, I will go into depth about those in a minute but here I just have um, my cutting mat some paper towel for painting and my folder here which has all of my PDFs in um, like my Joanna Basford some that I need to get around to and the one that I have done. So I just have a bunch of paper there as well. Um, so they're always really handy to have. And then I have a few uh, rulers here as well. So I'm going to pull out each drawer and show you what's inside them. So in this first drawer, we kind of have my most used stuff. Lots of the pencil cases and things like that. And the books that I use to record things. Or just you know, note stuff down. So the first thing that I have here is my notebook from a shop called Whistlefish, which is in Cornwall and Devon. I absolutely love it. And I keep all of my colour palettes that I need to remember in this. And it's proven very helpful uh, to me. I really, really love it. Um, in this pencil case, I have, oh, it's going to be very hard to open this one handed. Um, I have all of the pastel fine liners that I was talking to you about. So we have a couple, but I know I want to take all of these away because they have, they're they so, so good. And this I got in Prague, and it's great because it's Faber Castell. You get an extra zip at the top, you get four spaces to put pencils, and then a great big space there. So that's great. Um, here is, well, I have two of these um, Joanna Basford pencil cases because they were £2.50 in Waterstones. They don't tend to have them that much, so I snapped them up when I could. And this is kind of my old pencil case that has lots of um, tools that I love but don't use as much or as frequently as other things. But I have some great things in here. Some things that are run out but I love these Silver Uniball Signal Glitter Gel Pens. Um, this Mayped, um Rubber. Some Koinor Rubbers which are great. And um, a few extra burnishes. Some Sharpeners. So they're really handy and I've also got some, oh gosh, really old needed erase there and cotton buds, things like that. So they're tools that I don't use as frequently but are still really good to have. Um, okay, so I also have these. Um, this is a tiny, tiny pencil case which can be used to put a few things in and it's the same style as my big one um, and I really like this. Um, because it can fit a few things in. The only problem is, is I can't fit a pencil sharpener or anything in it, so I do have to take those separately. And then also this by Derwent, which is a small pencil wrap, which can fit around about, I want to say like 12 pencils in it. Um, and again, you can't fit a, um, a sharpener or a rubber or anything in it, but it's, it's good. Um, then we have... One of my most useful books, which has all of the completed pages that I do, a month by month kind of plan a thing for my colouring, all of the colour alongs. Um, let me have a look. Uh, to keep track of all of my pages and a chart here. Um, and it's so useful, and I started doing that this year. And there are things that I do want to change about it, but there are definitely lots of positives to it, and I have done a video all about that. So that's good. I have this um, book which was a um, jotter that was for school but I didn't use it. So I've used it for Ivy and Minky Butterfly now. Um, writing things down that I want to change about the pages or keep the same. And that's really useful to have. And my old swatch book which I do still use a lot 
<clears throat> there are some newer things in here. My Arteza pencils. Um, my Black Edition Faber Pastel pencils, which I really, really like. And I've used them on a page this month. My Rembrandt Soft Pastels. My markers and then just other pencils and pens and things. And I do still refer to it a lot, but um, those swatch cards that I use are really, really great too. I have this Kath Kidston um, little bag, which I think is meant to be a makeup bag, but it's really, really good for um, putting colouring things in. I have my spare 12 Holbeins. I got these, well, this initial set in 2018, I think. And so, yeah, I just swapped them in with my um, new sets. Obviously, I have 12 spares. I'm getting them 150 sets. So they are great to have because when my other ones run out, I can just use those. And some of them are my most used as well. So they're great. And then I have this tin here, which is a Santoro tin, which I got from TK Maxx for about £2, I think. And I'm so sorry. I don't think I'm going to be able to open this. Oh, yeah, there we go. So in here... Um, usually I have more of my spare pencils, but I've taken them um, away because some of my other pencils are getting very short. But I have my um, small collection of Derwent Artist pencils. I've, I think I've picked up about six or seven. And they sometimes have them at WH Smith, but they also have them in other art shops. Um, but they're lovely, and I've just picked up a few. I've got some spare Faber Castell pencils. I've got some gold Faber pencils, which I really like. I've used them quite a bit. And um, they're pretty similar colours to some that I have in uh, the Faber Castell Polychromos, which I think is the perfect because they're a more budget friendly pencil. And I believe they're. Are they more soluble? Oh no, I think I'm getting confused. Um, yeah, they're lovely as well. So. Um, that's good to keep spare things in. And I have this spare tin, which again, I, got, I think I got in the sale from um, at Waterstones. And I used to keep all of my things in here, but um, it was really proving difficult to uh, transport anywhere around holiday because it's quite bulky and obviously it's a tin. It's very heavy, so it's better to have a pencil case. And then here I have a few small notebooks and notes that I actually could probably chuck away because I've written stuff down that I need to with these, but pretty much the only useful thing to show you here is my colour wheel, which I have and I really like. So the thing that I like most about this is when you turn it, it gives you a new colour palette to work with. So these are really good because if you don't want to think of a colour palette um, and you don't have a colour palette book or something, um, or you, know, you don't want to look on the internet or something, this is great because you can just twist it and find new colour palettes. So um, that's the first drawer. So this second drawer has things more to do with pastels and stuff. So obviously in the backgrounds I use um, chalk pastel quite a lot, um, but not as frequently as colour pencil and things like that. So I do use them quite a bit, but it's good to still have them in a drawer so they're accessible. Um, but yeah, they're not um, in the in the top drawer. But I have these new uh, Rembrandt soft pastels, which I've used quite a lot in some recent pictures. This is the 60 set, and they were from Amazon. These are really good quality, and these are really pigmented, lovely to work with. And I actually used to have, or I still have, um, these Rembrandt half sticks of pastels that my mum had when she was younger. And these are pretty much exactly the same. They're the same company, they're Royal Talons, except these are obviously an older version. So lots of the colours are quite similar, but there are some discrepancies. But um, it's lovely to have a wider selection of colours. And also these are more pigmented because obviously these are, um, you know, um, have been used for a long time and are fairly old now and cracked some of them. I do still use them sometimes, but it's lovely to have an updated version that work better. Uh, I have some double-sided tape here that I'm using quite a lot now. Um, some cotton buds, I've actually got uh, another pot of those. And some cotton um, pads. In here I've got a few things that I ordered from Cult Pens that I was wanting to keep together when I was doing my haul. And I will get around to that at some point, I promise. Um, but I've kind of kept them in there so I don't forget what I bought uh, for that. Then I have my... 
uh, Mungio soft pastels this is the 64 set and although I like these they um, again are quite a few years old I got them about two years ago and they're they are pigmented but not quite as pigmented as I would like and these were really inexpensive I think when I got them they were about eight or ten pounds and I did really realize that although they're great um, it is worth investing in some that are more higher quality and then here I have some notebooks and journals that I don't really use anymore um, or I use them a bit but not as much I have all of my fantastic zoo uh, color palettes in here some other color palettes in my anamorphia notebook and I used to track my color pictures in this book which I got from um, where did I get this from uh, Oh my god, Spain, that's it. Um, but yeah, I don't really use it anymore just because I've kind of updated how I do things. So it's pretty much everything in the second drawer. And I won't bother showing you the third one because it doesn't have anything colouring related in it. It's just got lots of papers in that I use for card making or um, my stickers and uh, notebooks and things like that so uh, we'll move up to the big cupboard now okay so again I'm on my chair so I can give you a better view of the top bit of the cupboard I'm not going to take any of these out because again a lot of this stuff isn't colouring related also it would take ages to take them all out and then put them back but kind of get the idea lots of the stuff is in tins and again it's not colouring related so a lot of this is um to do with my stickers and my notebooks and stuff that are on my stationery shop. I have um, accumulated quite a few different things over the years. I've got a few spare boxes and things here that I'm planning on using if I'm giving stuff as gifts. Um, a few things for my giveaway there, um, which will be happening at 2,000 subscribers. But as I said, one of my favourite companies are Jekko and they do stickers and notebooks and things, which I really like. And I have all my main washi tapes here um the lid doesn't actually go on properly because some of them are a bit too tall so that's kind of those and then i have some spare cotton balls here i actually tend to prefer to use cotton balls for cotton buds they're so much easier and because they're rounded i don't know they just give a better lay down i have a color um color palette, a paint palette here my gouache uh, paint palette which I have all the gouache in um, but then I have the gouache tubes here which have the actual paint in but I just squeeze them into there in this um, Imogen bag I have spare colouring supplies so extra burnishes extra um, gel pens things like that um, back here I have some Copics, which I got, which were very inexpensive actually uh, from TK Maxx. So these were nine pounds for six instead of however much they should have been thirty pounds. Gosh, um, and I have also a smaller set. Well, it's the same amount, pretty much. But actually, you get five, and this is kind of the skin tone set. And again, this is nine, but then you get two fine liners as well. So that's that's great. I have. Um, it's going to get harder and harder to show you now. Um, I have 12 Pablo pencils and my 12 ink pencils, which I really like. And I won from a giveaway that Nikki and Niagara did. I'll show you. They're really, really nice. I've used them quite a bit. Some journals that I don't use anymore. Um, I used to use this book here for... Uh, what's it called? Um... For just when I'm playing around with colour palettes and trying to figure stuff out. And my old swatch books there as well. I have my Joanna Basford enchantments here. Um, some spare washi tape. Um, spare tins and things. I was testing out with my lino to try to see if I could create a, um, a stamp. And it did work quite well. And then I have some sketching things here. Some Caran d'Ache gouache. Uh, some paints. Things like that. Um, that again aren't really colouring related but... I keep here because it's good to have uh, the extra space to put them in um, and then I will show you this here so here I have um, some notebooks and things and my favorite um, company or one of them Cambridge imprint I have a notebook there I have some postcards here they're not all coloring postcards the um, 
Millie Morata ones and Hannah Carlson ones here are. Um, and then mostly I have some other colouring postcards here. And to be honest, they're getting pretty empty now, these um, sets. Um, and some notebooks and things, again, not colouring kind of related. Lots of uh, notelet sets and other books and things that um, I need when I'm writing thank yous and things like that. So that's those. So I'm going to move down off my chair now so I can show you the other um, bits of the cupboard. Okay, so now we come to the bit which is my dedicated colouring bit. This is where most of my cases are, um, the things that I use very often. So we first have my case here, uh, which I absolutely love. And this was sent um, to me very, very kindly um, by Sue. And it's got all of my Holbein's in and then spare pencils. And I'm going to take this with me to um, Solcombe and to Devon, where my grandparents are uh, when on Saturday. So that's um, going with me because it has a lot of space in it. And then here I have some um, books which I either want to get back to or kind of some of my favourites that I like to um, keep out here. So we've got Maria Troll, The Ink House, Men's Spazzy Gang Dutch's, um, I was going to try and pronounce this actually if, properly if I could say, Men's Spazzy Gang Dutch, I don't know if that's right. Um, and then Botanical Wonderland, Chris Riddle, 100 Hugs, and then a couple of Clara Mark over here. So here I have my Arteza case sent to me by the lovely Suzette, and I have my Arteza pencils in there. Uh, Prismacolors in this one, all my Faber Castell products in here, so my Faber Castell Polychromos, classic pencils, and the Eco pencils. In here I have my Crayolas, and then I have my Black Edition. Faber Castell pencils sent to me by the lovely Susan. Really, really like those, as I mentioned. A practical colour combinations book by Naomi Kuno Coon or Kumo. And I'm gonna get it wrong, Kuno. My Wildflowers book um, by Margaret Wilson. This has loads of gorgeous uh, vintage kind of illustrations of flowers that I use for inspiration. Uh, a butterfly book and botanicum book by I wanna say Katie Scott and Kathy Willis, that's it. Love those for expression and the Flower Fairies Treasury as well. In here I have my Black Widow pencils. Again, I really, really like those. And I have some Firelanders here, but most of them are in that pencil case to take away with me. Um, I have my Posca pastels. Uh, and these are 1MR, so they're not too thick. And I have some slightly thicker ones, which are threes, I believe. And these are the glitter ones. In this pencil wrap, you've seen it many times, I will quickly show you. Uh, it has various gel pens and I've actually changed around some of them. So we have dual metallics, some... Oh my gosh, what are these called? The hybrid gel metallics, but they are metallics. These are glittery, these are metallic. Uh, some Stardust pens and various other glitter gel pens, so that's great to always have on hand. And then I have my 48 set of glitter gel pens that uh, I've seen Uncle Jim got for me, which are great. And they're very, very glittery, and I use those probably the most. Um, and down here, I won't go into too much detail because it's more just arty stuff. Um, but I've got quite a few pens and things, empty tins though, quite a lot. Um, so an empty 24 set of polychromos because I built my collection up, spare um, tins and um, boxes with pens that were in there, some big permanent markers, these are great, I haven't played with them for a bit but these are the eco line brush pens, I would love to get the pastel ones but I got them as a present. Um, from my godmother, really, really like those. My drawing inks, which I use from Winsor & Newton, which I love. Uh, some pencil cases with pens in that aren't, um, that I don't use for colouring, they're kind of just felt tips and things. Um, my Daily Rainy watercolours, that were my mum's. These are the Zig uh, clear colour, not clear colour, the Zig watercolour brush pens. Uh, watercolours and tins there. Oh, I've got this um, set of Oh my gosh, I can't get it out. Let me try and get it for you because I really, really love this. Um, it's going to be quite hard to get out. I'll show you this first. I've just got a few spare bits of um, card there. 
these are my markers and now I can show you these which I love these are the Faber-Castell grip pencils which are very similar to the classics um, and I was very kindly um, sent these as well um, and these are so amazing and I love them then we have spare tins here, a couple of extra books and tins and some the Rich Smith watercolours there that my mum again had. So quite a lot of spare tins which ideally I should try and recycle and all that stuff. But it's nice to always um, have them in case I need space to put them because, uh, you know, I need to put extra pencils because they are very handy and nice to have. Um, and then, yeah, as I said, this has just got school stuff, a bit of sewing stuff so not really anything interesting there but yeah that's pretty much it so I'm just gonna stop here and then do um, a quick um, goodbye because I don't want to move the camera too much um, so yeah I'll see you in a minute so I hope you enjoyed watching this video I really really enjoyed participating in this tag and I wanted to thank Novella and Kay so much for um, tagging me so I could participate and it was really fun uh, looking through everything and um, you know, seeing hopefully, you know, some things that have changed um, since the last video. Sorry if you can hear the beeping from the washing machine, it's now finished. Um, but yeah, I would like to tag um, Kate from Kate's Colouring Haven. Also, I'd like to thank the Influence Colourist and also Susie from At Susie's Cottage. So if you ladies would like to um, participate, I'm sure we would all love to see your colouring area. I know that. Um, Kate has done a video um, but I think it was before um, she started her channel again because of all the copper stuff so I'm sure we would all love to see an updated version so yeah that is pretty much everything I've got to share I think so I hoped you enjoy I uh, hoped you enjoyed watching sorry and um, yeah I will see you in my next video whenever that will be because I'm not quite sure when this will be going up yet but I will see you then, so thank you so much for watching, and yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone!